Hi, man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Going to go right on the newsletters, just the opening call on the left-hand side, second one down. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're going to check it out, you can keep that in mind. Okay, you get a six-month, you can get a year. If it works for you, awesome. If for some reason, folks, it doesn't help you, 30 days from now, guess what? Get, get your money back. And then on top of that, when you do get it anyway, what you're going to have is that you're going to have about 11 archives that Basil's done an amazing job with. If you really want to understand how this market moves, how you ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm very good. Thank you. Are you getting some good weather up there now? I hope so. Uh, it's, you know, it's been quite cold. Oh. I think from tomorrow it should be beautiful. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Well, I need that. Yeah, that <laughs> I like that. I'm sure, I'm sure most people do. I mean, it's bad enough the market's down. That gray sky up there in cold weather is not <laughs> right. cool. Yeah, exactly. A real gloom, right? Dark yeah. cloud cover. So this is very interesting because um, the Dow right now is gone. There's a, a technique that I developed, which I call the Chapman Wave Inside Track uh, support level or resistance level. And in this case, you can see the little red dashed line. Okay. We've gone right to that and we went under 32,000. For me, it's really the 32,000 uh, besides the psychological level in the Dow. It's really important because it's been above 32,000 for so long. So this is going to be absolutely imperative. We went to 31,877. It's hot. I guess in this market, it's not hard to believe, but we were actually at 32,752. Um, we're down 500 points from that from earlier this morning. So this is this is there's a lot going on. So what I thought is I just tell you key levels for me in the Dow, and the Dow has been the lead index for quite some time. It still is, and I'm using that kind of as a benchmark because the two things that are absolutely imperative for a rally to occur right now is that you need the Dow to and now it has to go above that high of today 32,752 that's number one but you also have to get the qqq which has been every rally has just been pummeled to the downside so the q's are 303 and as soon as we can start to close above 313 that says to me okay now we can get a decent bounce but what i thought i'd do is i'd mentioned it last week when we discussed uh we discussed the um uh, what I look at that I, that I said should be five independent areas, and I talk about them all the time. I nickname them um, Bondi for bonds. We've got uh, Goldie for for gold. We've got uh, the um, the others that I look at is dollar. That's Dolly for dollar, and uh, Oily for crude oil and Vixie for the volatility index. And the reason why I would love to have these things always sitting there is within the context of these different aspects, I've said for about four or five months now, I like to think of them as very independent. You and I have spoken about this market, how, how different it's been. Let's go through them one at a time. You know, bonds, normally, as I've re recalled over the year, not years, but decades, when there's volatility in the stock market, in other words, volatility in, in stock market parlance is, going down. So when there is go when markets are going down, money tends to migrate from the volatility of stocks into the so-called safety of bonds. This is the very first time that we've seen that just did not happen at all. In fact, as yields were going higher, so and bonds were going lower, so the stock market went in unison. So that's one divergence out of the, these two these these two bondy and uh, looking at the markets themselves. So the other thing is uh, looking at the dollar. You just spoke about the dollar. Well, the dollar, and I should mention that subscribers, we've been long since uh, 2018 at about 90. This is at 103.91. Normally you would find that as the dollar goes higher, even if it's just on a short-term trend basis, 
invariably you'd have the, it's almost like a mirror image, not necessarily in percentages, but as dollar goes higher, gold goes lower. As gold goes higher, dollar goes lower. And that kind of happens a lot. In fact, I'd like to look at it and say the market mostly has about four to five week periods where the dollar and gold go up together, not in the same proportion. But this is very different to anything we've seen before. So dollar is, uh, you nicknamed it uh, King Dollar. I think that's what it is. It's still so far King Dollar. Then the other thing we were looking at is uh, crude oil. When you look at crude oil, normally when the dollar goes higher, crude will pull back. That's just kind of, even if it's just a short term basis. And yeah, we've got crude oil uh, at 99.90 down three having made that high on the 7th at about 128, um, it looks to me, and I was talking about this in my show today, that if you if you consider, so, so that's the, the that's uh, Bondi, I have to always read it to get the sequence, Bondi, Dolly, Goldie, and Oily, but VIX is the other thing that I want to look at. Look, the VIX index at this particular height is close to where we were as um, Russia invaded Ukraine. We went to 37.79 on the 24th of February. And here we are at 32.73. So you would normally see huge triple digit down moves in the Dow when, when the um, volatility is up at this level. So that's why I've been saying, try to think of all these different things as different units. Sometimes they come together and sometimes they go in the traditional way. We're not quite seeing that right now. So I think that that's pretty important to just consider that with the volatility still holding high until that 32.73 right now, we start to see a trade for about two out of three sessions uh, actually close. It can't just trade. It's got, to, it's got to start to go under 29. I'm not sure how big a rally there could be in the market, but as soon as that happens, it just releases with uh, the other aspect that I wanted to talk about, which is the commodities, the soft commodities. Look, the DBA, which is something we've had since the 13s, is trading at 21.52 right now. Uh, it, it, this is a very important aspect because if we start to see the commodities pull back, and it's only short term, I don't know if the Fed would even talk about something like this because it's so short term, just uh, two, three weeks, but it, they are pulling back. And I think that that's important. So ingredients are there to say the all the things that are, that, that are attached to the fear factor in the market are slowly being ameliorated. How does the market respond? And as I say, I would need to see a really good sustained move on the upside with at least two big closes to the upside in the Dow, with the Qs actually all of a sudden starting to lead the rally. And I want to see the VIX really pull back very sharply. So those are the ingredients that we're looking for here. And it looked like early this morning there was this big rally, that, but it couldn't hold. We'll see what happens. So I've got my parameters clear as anything. And folks, it's very easy to get Bowser's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see Hit the newsletter, hit uh, the opening call, second one down, you are off the races. Baz, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Have Thank a great you. Day. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. <laughs>